Every living species has adapted to their environment by evolving different solutions to often complex external conditions. One of the great evolutionary adaptations that many species have developed is the power of sight. This sensory organ varies significantly between species and is often suited to the diet, behaviour and environment of the animal. To portray these variances, we will be exploring the differences between human and spider eyes. We begin with the familiar, human eyes. Human eyes are located at the head of the animal. The act of blinking, the tear components and the intact epithelium of the conjunctiva and cornea all increase the protection of the human's outer eye. The sclera is the white surface of the human eye and also acts as a barrier defence mechanism. Light passes through the cornea and pupil which control the amount of light that enters the eye. The light then passes through the gel-like substance of the aqueous humour, is focused with the lens and directed through the vitreous humour to the retina. The retina is the light sensitive inner lining at the back of the eye. It converts optical images into electronic signals that the optic nerve then transmits. Photoreceptors, known as rods and cones, are part of the retina and allow colour vision as well as low and high light imaging. There are three types of cones, short wavelength, medium wavelength and long sensitive cones. These are responsible for giving vision at high light environments. Each cone has around 100 different colours and hence we can measure the total number of colours that the human eye can see, which is around a million. While some articles link our colour viewing capacity with the necessity to forage, others indicate that our view of the colour spectrum could have developed so that humans could read body language and identify each other more successfully. Rods assist with the human's night vision. They allow the human to see during low light situations. This is why humans have very little or no colour vision at night. While humans have quite complex eyes, spiders have relatively simple eyes. True spiders have eight simple eyes with many variations to their general arrangement. Some of the advantages of having more than two eyes include increased overall field of vision, and the ability to split and separately process information from proximal and distal fields of view through neuronal mechanisms. The cornea and lens of true spider's eyes are rigid and as such, each pair of the spider's eyes have a set focal range. Generally speaking, these eyes may be placed in two differing categories according to their structural and functional differences. The anterior median eyes are referred to as principal eyes. The eye pair faces forward and, depending on a species, either have a set focal range or a movable retina which can change the focal length. That's a characteristic common to jumping spiders. Anterior median eyes are averted with the light absorbing segment of the photoreceptors turned towards the incident light. They are generally used for long distance sight and although they have a high resolution, they also have a very narrow field of view. The other category includes three pairs of eyes the posterior median, posterior lateral, and anterior lateral eyes. These are referred to as secondary eyes. The photoreceptor segment bearing the microvilli in secondary eyes is turned away from the incident light. This allows numerous fields of view, however their retina cannot be moved. Unlike principal eyes, these three pairs are equipped with a tapetum, which acts as a polarizer. This polarizer is described as a visual compass which the spiders use for navigation. Some noted differences between human and spider's eyes include the amount of eyes that each species have, namely one pair for humans and generally four pairs for spiders, the general structure of the eyes of each species, both varying in anatomical features. The set focal length of each pair of true spider's eyes due to a rigid lens and the multifocal length in human's eyes due to a movable lens and cornea. Lastly, spider eye retinas have relatively coarse-grained mosaics of receptor cells and as such their resolution is much poorer than in the human eye. These structural differences reflect the diet, behaviour and environment of the two species.